Hey everyone, welcome to another bowling ball motion video and review. My name is Tony Marino and today we're going to be reviewing the Roto Grip Reckham. Uh, the Reckham, I throw 16 pounds, so the Reckham is a 2.56 um, RG rate and an 0.46 uh, differential. I'll look real quickly a little about me. I'm left handed, PAP is 5 over by a quarter up, rev rate is uh, in the range of 350, I think a little higher than that. The layout I have on my Reckham is a Rico drilling, so pin in the palm, CG kicked out roughly 45 degrees, uh, weight hole on my VAL. Um, so this is going to be a really smooth layout. Um, I also have a Hectic, which I thought this ball would react kind of similarly towards, so I wanted to put something drastically different on this ball so that there wasn't any overlap. Um, what I'm bowling on today is the 39 foot sole pattern, medium volume, um, pretty flat. So you're going to see on this video, I'm going to kind of play a couple different parts of the lane. I'm going to move the Reckham. I started off just a little bit left of second arrow. Um, typically on this pattern, my break point is right around 7-8 board. Um, but as you see, because the cover's a little weaker on the Reckham, um, the best angle I have into the pocket is actually going to be a little bit closer than that, about the 9 board. Um, but as I get going, I'll kind of weak 7 a little bit, so um, that, tell, that tells me on, on some good shots I need to get closer to the pocket. So... Um, I moved into in between second and third arrow um, and had a much better look. Um, the cover is really clean on this ball, um, and given the higher RG value um, at 256 for a 16 pounder, um, you know, you're going to have a pretty clean ball. And it's going to be really great for dry lanes, or if you're a high rev player, this ball is going to be great for you. But for me, this is going to be more of a drier lane ball, so it would sit underneath a high road in the Storm family or a close to a street fight, just a different shape, um, or in the rotor grip line, it would be well underneath the daredevil, and I'm actually going to be comparing this ball to the daredevil later in this video. Um, so now if you watch some of these videos, you're going to see that I moved into about 15, 16 at the arrows, and you can tell that the ball is now deflecting. Uh, so I moved too far, which I, I said I was going to move all over the lane in this video, I mean all over the lane for a lefty <laughs> in this video. Um, so I found that spot, and it was just, the ball was reading and deflecting too much, so I moved back to uh, about 12, 13 at the arrows, and break point at 8, 9, and that's really where I found my sweet spot with this um, with this ball th that day. You can see on that shot, I actually got it in a little bit, and it still held, and got lucky and tripped the 6 out, but um, it opened up the angles when I got to the right part of the lane, and then, um, yeah, once I got comfortable, <laughs> I mean, that ball just went through the pins great. I also want to note that since shooting this video, I went and threw this ball on a couple different house shots, and one of the house shots really has a defined hook area, um, and, and the lane panels are actually pretty worn, so it's higher friction. Uh, and that ball cleared the fronts really easy and saw the friction and, and hooked hard on the back. Um, which is, um, you know, kind of hard to see on this video because it's, you know, medium pattern. I didn't really break down the pattern the right way with a dull ball either. Um, but when I was in uh, on a pattern that had some friction, this ball created that angular shape that you'd expect with the core numbers and the, and the cover. So I'm going to now be comparing this ball to the Daredevil. So I grabbed the Daredevil and moved two or three right off the spot where I was bowling with the Reckham and tried to keep the same break point. And you'll see that the first few shots come up high. I mean, they have no chance. They read the lane too early, which really isn't all too surprising with the Daredevil because it's pretty strong. Um, so I moved the break point farther left, about 6, 7. Um, ended up moving my feet a little bit too because the, there was still plenty of oil in the front part of the lane where I was, and, and that's where I found a better look. I hope this video was helpful for you. If you have any questions, please reach out and um, feel free to subscribe if you like my videos. See you later.